Welcome to our segment on interacting galaxies. Here's our old friend, Andromeda. As we noted in earlier segments, Andromeda is heading towards the Milky Way. If the transverse side-to-side -side velocity that we currently believe that Andromeda, Andromeda has, it's, it's not easy to calculate. But if, that's, if what we currently have is right, Andromeda will collide with the Milky Way in 5 to 10 billion years from now and start a 1 billion year long collision process. But if you recall from our discussion about how far away stars are in a galaxy, for example, our nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is four light years away. Those large distances between stars means that it's a million to one shot that any star will actually collide when the galaxies pass through each other. But the form, the shape, will change dramatically and change forever for the interacting galaxies themselves. The key factors are the shapes and relative masses of the colliding galaxies, the colliding velocity, and the angle of the collision. A glancing blow versus a head-on collision. They'll have different outcomes. I'd like to show you a few of the over 100 interacting galaxies photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope. Name the antenna galaxies. These two spiral galaxies, drawn together by gravity, started to interact a few hundred million years ago. They are the nearest and youngest examples of a pair of colliding galaxies. This Hubble image has uncovered over 1,000 bright young star clusters bursting to life in a brief, intense, brilliant fireworks show. By the way, they are called the antenna because the pair of long tails of luminous matter formed by the encounter resembles an insect's antenna. Here's a spectacular sight. Strong tidal forces from the larger have distorted the shape of the smaller, flinging out stars and gas into long streamers stretching out a hundred thousand light years toward the right hand edge of the image. This image from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope captures an ongoing cosmic collision between a spiral galaxy and a lenticular galaxy. The collision looks almost as if it is popping out of the screen in 3D, with parts of the spiral arms clearly embracing the lenticular galaxy's bulge. The bright spot in the middle of the plume above the galaxies is what makes this image unique. This spot is believed to be the nucleus of the former spiral galaxy, which was ejected from the system during the collision and is now being shredded by tidal forces to produce the visible stellar stream. These two galaxies resemble a penguin safeguarding its egg. This Hubble image of the interacting pair shows the blue, twisted form of galaxy NGC 2936, the penguin, and its partner, NGC 2937, the egg. The former galactic bulge now forms the eye of the penguin, around which it is still possible to see where the galaxy's pinwheel arms once were. These disrupted arms now shape the cosmic bird's body as bright streaks of blue and red across the image. This is a stunning system of two spiral galaxies in an early stage of merging. The Hubble image displays the two galaxies with strongly disrupted shapes and an astonishing number of blue knots of star formation that look like exploding fireworks. This is a peculiar butterfly or lobster-shaped galaxy 
consisting of smaller merging galaxies with two giant black holes 3,000 light years apart, which is pretty close actually, uh, in galactic dimensions, which will drift towards one another and eventually merge together into a larger black hole. The merging process, which began roughly 30 million years ago, triggered dramatic star formation and sparked numerous supernova explosions. The merger will be complete in some tens to hundreds of millions of years. Here we have the Tadpole Galaxy. Its distorted shape was caused by a small interloper, a very blue, compact galaxy. If you take a close look, you'll see it in the upper left corner of the more massive Tadpole Galaxy. Seen shining through the Tadpole's disk, the tiny intruder is likely a hit-and-run galaxy that is now leaving the scene of the accident. Strong gravitational forces from the interaction created the long tail of debris, consisting of stars and gas that stretch out more than 280,000 light years. The other interesting thing here is that most of the stars in the background are all galaxies there are 6,000 galaxies behind the tadpole, moving very deep into space. Here is an especially photogenic group of interacting galaxies. The larger of the spiral galaxies has a dark disk that is tidally distorted into a rose-like shape by the gravitational tidal pull of the companion galaxy below it. A series of uncommon spiral patterns in the large galaxy is a telltale sign of interaction. The larger outer arm appears partially as a ring, a feature seen when, when interacting galaxies actually pass through one another. This suggests that the smaller companion actually dived deep but off-center from the large galaxy. These colliding galaxies have been nicknamed the mice because of the long tails of stars and gas emanating from each galaxy. The pair will eventually merge into a single giant galaxy. Computer simulations show that we are seeing two nearly identical spiral galaxies approximately 100 million years after their closest encounter. This is an example of what might happen to the Milky Way several billion years from now when it collides with Andromeda. Here we have a spectacular pair of galaxies. The relatively undisturbed one on the left most probably punched through the one on the right, producing a burst of star formation appearing as a bright blue ring. Note the dusty reddish knot at the lower left of the blue ring. This probably marks the location of the original nucleus of the galaxy that was hit. NGC 454 is a galaxy pair with a large red elliptical galaxy and an irregular gas-rich blue galaxy. The system is in the early stages of an interaction that has severely distorted both components. Below the dust lanes that stretch all the way to the center of the elliptical galaxy suggest that gas has penetrated that far, no signs of star formation are visible. The contorted object captured by Hubble in this picture is known as the South America Galaxy. It is an ultraluminous infrared galaxy that emits a huge amount of light at infrared wavelengths. The reason for this intense infrared emission lies in an episode of strong star formation activity which was set off by a collision between two galaxies. In the central region, which is very complex and disturbed, Scientists have been able to distinguish two nuclei, remains of the two different galaxies that are currently colliding to form this new one. Other traces of the galactic collision are the three very noticeable tails in the image, two linear and one circular. Here we have what astronomers call a peculiar galaxy. NGC 7603 and 7603b are identified as interacting 
according to the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. But they have a very interesting problem. As you recall from discussions on Hubble's law in our segments on galaxy superclusters, an object's redshift gives us its distance. But in this case, the redshift for 7603 is a good deal smaller than the redshift for NGC 7603b. If redshift is only caused by the expansion of the universe, these two galaxies are too far apart to be interacting as they appear to be. Looking at it the other way around, if they are actually interacting, then there must be more than one explanation for redshift. This would put the expansion of the universe and the corresponding Big Bang Theory in jeopardy. A deep study of this pair of galaxies was conducted to see if we could find an explanation. What the study found was two quasars inside the filament connecting the two galaxies. And these quasars had even greater, in fact far greater, redshifts. So this remains a mystery with potentially significant consequences. Galaxies can take many forms. Elliptical blobs, swirling spiral arms, bulges, and disks are all known components of the wide range of galaxies we have observed in our nearby superclusters. However, some of the more intriguing objects in the sky around us include ring galaxies, like the one pictured here. Ring galaxies are mysterious objects. They are thought to form when one galaxy slices through the disk of another, a larger one. The disruption upsets the material in both galaxies, causing it to redistribute to form a dense central core encircled by bright stars. The sparkling pink and purple loop in ZW228 is not a typical ring galaxy due to the fact that it doesn't seem to have the usual visible central companion. For many years, it was thought to be a lone circle on the sky. But observations using Hubble have shown that there may be a possible companion lurking just inside the ring, where the loop appears to double back on itself. In my research, I was not able to find the distance to ZW228. So let's take this opportunity to calculate the distance from the redshift. We know from our discussion of the Doppler effect in our planetary nebula segment that the velocity v of the galaxy is equal to the speed of light, c, times the ratio of the change in the spectral line length divided by the spectral line length at rest. This can be written as v equals c times delta lambda over lambda or lambda is the wavelength, which is c times the lambda observed minus the lambda at rest divided by the lambda at rest, which can also be written as c times the lambda observed by the lambda at rest minus 1. Now lambda observed divided by lambda at rest minus 1 is the definition of our redshift, z. So we can write v equals cz. v equals the speed of light times the redshift. From our discussion on Hubble's law in the Virgo supercluster segment, we have the distance d is equal to the velocity v divided by the Hubble constant. Substituting cz for v, we get the distance is equal to the speed of light times the redshift divided by the Hubble constant. For ZW228, the redshift is measured to be 0 0.02863. Plugging this, the speed of light, and Hubble's constant into the equation, we have the distance to ZW228 as 186,000 miles per second times the redshift 02863 divided by 13.6 miles per second per million light year comes out to 319 million light years to ZW228. Of course, we cannot watch a collision of galaxies unfold. It takes billions of years. 
But we do see colliding galaxies in various stages of a collision process across the cosmos. The ones we saw are only a few of the hundreds photographed by the Hubble telescope. Computer models show us how galaxies of similar sizes might be transformed during a collision. The next six interacting galaxies that I'm going to show you represent various phases in the billion year collision process. This Hubble image displays a beautiful pair of interacting spiral galaxies with swirling arms. The smaller of the two seems to be safe for now, but will probably be swallowed by the larger spiral galaxy eventually. Here we have a pair of very gas-rich spiral galaxies in their early stages of interaction. Here we see the staggering aftermath of an encounter between two galaxies, resulting in a ring-shaped galaxy and a long-tailed companion. The collision between the two parent galaxies produced a shockwave effect that first drew the matter in to the center and then caused it to propagate back outward in a ring. The elongated companion perpendicular to the ring suggests that APR 148 is a unique snapshot of an ongoing collision. This Hubble image is a stunning snapshot of a celestial dance performed by a pair of similar sized galaxies. Two clear signatures of the gravitational tug of war between the galaxies are one, the bridge of material that connects them, and two, the disruption of their main bodies. The dust lanes between the two galaxy centers show the extent of the distortion of the originally flat disks that have been pulled into three-dimensional shapes. Here we have two galaxies that seem to be embracing each other. Two long, highly curved arms of gas and stars emerge from a center region that has two cores. The two cores are 16,000 light years apart. The pair is thought to be midway through a merger. This is a beautiful object that resembles an owl in flight. It consists of a pair of former disk galaxies undergoing a collision. The cores of the two individual galaxies seen at the center of the image are embedded in hot dust and contain a large number of stars. Two huge wings sweep out from the center and curve in opposite directions. These are tidal tails of stars and gas that have been pulled from the easily distorted disks of the original galaxies. Next, I'm going to show you a very interesting collision simulation done on computers. You'll recognize the last six objects we just discussed at key points along the way. We'll finish this segment with a second simulation, the collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way.